operations with vectors. We're first going to focus on addition of vectors. You will find this on page 581 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Operations with vectors. In this section, vectors will be added and subtracted. We will also investigate scalar multiplication of vectors. Now let's first focus on addition of vectors. We can add two vectors by joining them head to toe. Where one vector ends, the next vector starts. So if you look, this is PQ. If you look, this is QR. So if we join this two, so don't forget, this, this is going to be your tail and this is going to be your head. So this is also going to be your tail and your head. So basically, we're going to combine this two there. So we're first going to draw this one, the first one, and then from this head, we are going to draw this one. Okay, and then we are going to say, basically, the combination of these two vectors, let me just show you again there. This is the one vector PQ, this is the other vector, and the combined effect will be from the beginning till the end. That will be the same movement. Let's just do that. Okay, so basically the combined, so this vector PR will be A plus addition of B. Okay, so this is what I basically do. This is where I start. I go from where I start until I end. So we can say A plus B is A plus B. This is the combination. So this was A. Let's just get that pen in order. This was A, this is B, and this is the combination. But take note of the arrows. This arrow was there, this arrow there, and this is from the beginning till the end of the movement. Okay, so let's just move it up a little bit. So an example, say for example, if we take now, if we count the blocks, so this is going to be four and two, four and two, as a column vector, this is going to be negative 2 and 3 as a column vector. Now I do normal addition of negative or directed numbers. So 4 minus 2 will just be 2 and 2 plus 3 will be 5. And if I look at this combined effect, let's just look, this one, it's 1, 2, I'm, I'm checking out this vector, can I just show you there? So this is going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, exactly what is standing there. So different roots, but the same result. If you start at the same point and end at the same point, but take different roots, direct or shortcut route, the result vector will be equal. That means in this case, I started there and I moved, moved. This was actually my long way of moving. And this was my short way of moving. But because we start at the same point and we end at the same point, this vector movement is the same as this vector plus this vector movement. And this is very important. Okay, let's look at an example. If I say in this case, let's just highlight, illustrate graphically the following vector sums using the vectors given in the diagram. In each case, write down the vector sum in column vector form. So first do it graphically, and then you can do it by using algebra. So P plus Q. So basically, I'm just taking P, this P, and I add Q, and it is now from the start to the end. That will be P plus Q. So if I'm going to write down the vector of P, so can you just see it's 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 and negative 5. And Q is 1, 2, 3 and 2. So that's going to add up to 5 and negative 3. So let's just see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
one, two, three. That's going to be my answer. And then P plus R. So this is P again, same as there. And now R, I'm just moving that one. We remember, if this was the tail head, then tail head. And then my vector movement addition is from the start to the end. And again, I can just write it down. And by adding up that, I'll get negative 1 and I get negative 6. And if I'm going to look at this one, remember the arrow is like this. So this is going to be negative 1 and this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. And then the final one, let's just move this. The final one will be this one, P plus Q plus R. So now it's just P. And then we can say R, it doesn't matter the order because it's addition, plus Q. So every time I go head, tail, head, tail, head, tail. And then remember the final result, um, let me just show, I think I showed it incorrect here. It was P plus Q plus R. And the final result was from the start to the end. So basically, if I just take this 3 and I add it up, I get 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 3 is 2. So this is negative 3, negative 1, it's negative 4. So this is going to be 1, 2, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. Okay, I want you to stop the video and do try now 19. You can continue with the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Um, for S plus T, T plus U is best. So, okay, illustrate the following. So this is the vectors and it is described using the vector given in the diagram. Okay, in each case write down the sum of the column vectors, uh, sum in column vector form. So basically, I'm just going to do exactly the same. Um, I am can maybe, I think it will be good if I just write down, just to help you. So let's see what is the column vector of S. So if you look here, it's one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be five and negative three. Okay, so this is going to be 5 and negative 3. And what is the column vector of T? This is going to be 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the last one, U, That is going to be one, two, f that is going to be one, two, three. Or is it just two? Let's just make it a bit bigger. I think it's just two. So it's just going to be negative two and zero. Okay, so if I start with the first one, let's start with the first one. Okay, so it's going to be, let's just first draw that one, uh, because the first one is S, mm, S plus T. So in this case, if I look at S, so it's going to be 5 and negative 3. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. And this is going to be like this. Okay. And then T, so it's now S plus T. So T is going to be 1, 2, and uh, it's going to be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's up to there. And then again my straight line. So this is going to be S, and this is going to be T. And don't forget that the result is from the start, oh, let me just get a, a ruler, to the end. Um, I think I'm going to ra rather do it in red. 
So this is going to be is plus t. Okay, and if I'm going to write it down, if I look at this one, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can you all see here? So it's actually going to be 7, and then it's going to be 2. So if I'm going to just write it down, so it's S plus T. So it's going to be So it's 5 plus 2, it's 7. Negative 3 plus 5, that's 2. And it's exactly the same as I was showing you there on the graph. Okay, and then the next one, I think we're going to first move this one. We can do this in another example. So let's just move. In the next video, we will do that one. Okay, and then the next one, we are going to say, this is now the second one. And that's going to be T plus U. Okay, so if I'm going to do this one, it's going to be T. Now, let's just see. Let's just um, do first T. That's 2 and 5. Oh, so it's actually 2. Let's just 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's make it here. So it's starting there. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be T, and then U, let's just look at U. Now U is just negative 2, so U will just be this. Oh, let me just get a ruler. Okay, so this is going to be U. And don't forget that the final is from, oh, it's again a ruler. From the beginning till the end. So that result will be T plus U. Okay, so basically, if I'm going to do this one, so if it's, let's just write it, T plus U. Okay, I can first, sorry, I'm coming, going back to the graph. Um, first, let's just write down this result. What will this result be? It's just going to be no horizontal, so zero, and vertical one, two, three, four, five. That's on the graph. Let's see if it's the same if I do it with algebra. So what is T? That's two and five. What is U? That's negative two and zero. And that's going to be zero and five. And compare, can you see that this one is the same as this one. Okay. Okay, now I have to do that final one. The final one is in each graph, sum as a column vector. Okay, let's do that final one. And I think for the final one, I'm just going to make space. Otherwise, I'm going to struggle too much. So let's, oh, let's leave the top. We can leave the top. Okay. So the final one is going to be S plus T plus U. Okay, now let's start S. Let's just do 5, 5 and negative 3. So I think we can do this one. I think it will start here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3. And then I'm just taking my ruler. Oh, where's my dot? Okay. And this is going to be S. Just take my pen. Okay, and then T, from where this one stops, I start with T. So T is going to be 2 and 5. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be up to here. Okay. So let's just take the ruler again. Okay. 
Okay. And then u, u is going to be negative 2 and 0. Now oh, let me just get that one clear. And then my final is from the beginning till the end. Oh, let's just get the ruler. And this final result is going to be, let's just write it, it's actually that one, is is plus t plus u and if I just write it down as a column vector just from the graph first so it's 1 2 3 4 5 and positive 2 so 5 and positive 2 that's my final column vector but if I do it on uh, with algebra so then I can just say it's is plus t plus u and that is going to give me, okay, and I can just write it down here. It's, okay, I think we write it rather under. So it's going to be 5 and negative 3 plus 2 and 5 plus negative 2 and 0. And that is going to give me 5, 6, 7, okay, and it can, so it's just 5. And this is 2, so it's just 2. And again, compare it. Can you see that it's exactly the same as I did it with algebra? So there I did it with a graph, and there I did it with algebra. In the next video, we look at, at example 20.